G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live in Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. I'm trialling the Honeypot Hive system with the local native bee species Tetragonula Hocking's Eye. This episode, two weeks after the separation. Well, it's the 15th of September and it's very early morning. Sun's just peeking up over the horizon. You can see there, hopefully, bees have already started work. And you will notice that the hives are now in a new location. We have the existing wooden hive. And as you can see there, bees are coming in and out. And the honeypot hive is over, oh, about a metre, three feet, a yard away from the wooden hive. So, what has happened in the last fortnight? Well, a couple of things to tell you about moving the bees, I think, in this episode. Moving beehives around short distances. You remember initially, the hive was positioned here, in front of the wooden hive. And the purpose of that was pure and simple to attract the foraging bees that were coming in. That was there for a week and did its job. Not one bee came in through the back entrance. But then it was time to start to move it to it another temporary location. Now you don't just pick up the hive from here and put it here. Because what happens? You put it here and all the foraging bees go out, come back to here, and go, ooh, the hive's not here, but there's a hole, we'll go back into here. And so you take all the bees that were there back into here. You don't want that. So what you do is you move it. But you've got to take little kangaroo hops to move it to its new location. So a week ago, it moved from directly in front to right beside it. I'll show you with this new box that I'm building, more on this later, so that it went from here to here. Stayed there for two days. What that did was allow the bees in there to keep going back to their hive but it allowed this hive to start to send out its own forages. Now I told you it was a strong hive and you can see already there's plenty of foraging activity. Then after two days, it went from here to there. Again, tiny little kangaroo hop and the bees by then were starting to separate. This hive was getting stronger with its forages, sending out new forages. The other honeypot hive kept its forages intact. After two days, it got another kangaroo hop to here. You can see where this is going. Each time, separating out the distance. And of course, yesterday, it went there. And that's its new home now for a while. Now, not to distract you, we'll put this down again. Discuss this little baby in a minute. Whoop, look at fault. Okay, why are we leaving the situation like that? Because although we separated the hives and there's plenty of good activity in this hive over there, we're not a thousand percent certain Okay, okay, is there such a thing as a thousand percent? A hundred percent certain that that's fully established with a queen and everything else. I'm confident, but not certain. What happens in this situation here, and I've noticed it over the week, is bees would return to either. I've seen bees fly out of this entrance into there. I've seen bees fly out of there, go out and straight into this hive here. That tells you, and it's been recorded in scientific journals, that these hives are sharing some of the workers. More than likely, there's some robbing 
from the honeypot hive, workers from that are coming into here, the mother hive if you want to call it, and taking some stores back into there, probably resin and wax, because that's expensive stuff in the, in the bee world, I suppose, and it's helping to stock the hive up. The other encourage, oh sorry, before I go any further, yeah, so, you keep them together now for the next two weeks or even a month to allow any robbing to occur, any sharing to occur between the two hives because they both got the same scent. And if there's not a queen in there, it will allow this hive to send out a virgin queen to mate and go into that hive. So it's all encouraging signs for the bees and you leave it there to allow that sharing to go on. Speaking of encouraging signs, you're always looking for signs that this new honeypot hive is taking. And what did we get during the week? Well, all in this area below here and out in front here, lots of males, drones, appeared on one day, about 30 or 40. Couldn't fly, they were evicted. Now. That's most unusual this time of year, most unusual. What I suspect has happened is a queen has left this hive or th that hive, if it was a virgin queen in there, don't know which one, a queen has left. There has been mating going on, a, what's called mating swarm, I missed it. But what happens with the drones is they don't normally go back to the hive. They're, once they go out, do the dirty, they're evicted and I'm suspecting up to 30 males tried to go back into this hive after the mating and what happened straight away the workers evicted them hey you left you can't come home again you're not allowed to come home again and I suspect that's what's happened so all these males uh, were an indication to me that some mating has occurred now is it in relation to this hive or this hive I don't know are they replacing the queen in this one don't know but it's a rather good sign that this hive is even taking more. If I miss the queen in the separation, it's a sign that maybe a queen has been implanted or surplanted into there. Could also be a replacement queen. But it's these are healthy signs you're looking for. Other healthy signs in this hive? I've, as I've been talking to you, pollen's been coming in, resin's been coming in, workers are still coming in there. The streaming of workers into these hives is good. Last thing, and we'll wrap this up because it's all about management. You noticed I had this box. Next episode, you're going to see this box replace the body of that hive. You can all picture it. And why? Because I've come up with a design feature which I think is going to improve the success of this hive in the tropics. I won't discuss it more on this video. Future videos, you're going to see it. So that's something to look forward to. Next video will be the 1st of October. Ooh.